you know the Muffin Man? I know the Muffin Man. It's my dad. My dad's the Muffin Man. And I could not be more excited about that. He makes the best muffins I've ever had, specifically the blueberry muffins. Although he always tries to sneak in pineapple muffins. I don't understand the obsession, but we won't go there. The problem is I can never make them. They always come out like trash. So naturally I'm very frustrated about this. I don't know if he's not telling me something, he's keeping secrets, or if I'm just doing something wrong, or if it's my oven. So we're going on a field trip today and I'm going to my parents' house and I'm going to make him make these muffins in front of me so that I can see everything he's doing and see where the magic is because I need to know. Let's head on over. It's time to make the muffins. Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> First, two and three quarters cup of flour. All purpose flour? Yeah. There's one. Oh, and we're sifting it? You never told me to yeah, sift it. Yeah, I, I sift it through the, just the... Secrets. And then it's <laughs> bacon powder. It's four and a half teaspoons. One. And then sugar. Where'd you get the sugar, Dad? <laughs> and blueberry muffins. Depends what you put for fruit in it, if this, how sweet they are, but with blueberry muffins, I usually put in almost a cup. Oh, another secret. What? But when I use when I do pineapples, I use. He always tries to sneak in pineapple muffins. The juice from the pineapple, so that lowers your milk and your sugar. Cinnamon? What's the matter? What are you laughing at? I usually put about a teaspoon of cinnamon in. And I use a stick and a half of butter. Cold butter. Cold butter. I. I tried melting it once. Some people use vegetable oil, but I tried melting it once and I think it tastes better not melting it. How do you know? Because I tried it. <laughs> You're doing this to cut the butter in because you want them in little baby pieces. Yeah. Put the juice all in so it cuts down on your milk. I start off with like three quarters of a cup of milk because you get all the juice from the pineapple. He always tries to sneak in pineapple muffins. And then I add more milk at the end if it needs a little bit more. You just don't want the mixture real soupy. You want it like cakey. Pretty good. Then we do the liquid mixture, which is two eggs. Date on your milk. <laughs> you don't want to ruin it at this point. You don't like chunky muffins? It takes about a cup, cup of milk. Mix that in. Because you got to go on the feel of it. So you added a little more because it looked a little dry. Yeah. Still see there's still flour in there. Just... I mean, if I kept mixing it, it probably would have come okay, but it still would have been kind of thick mixture, too thick. This consistency? It's like a uh, pound cake batter almost. Yeah, it's pretty, could get it a little thinner, but I'm gonna leave it like that, it's pretty good. These are big blueberries. I know, they didn't have any little ones. The fresh blueberries picked, uh, the little ones are the best ones. They're nice and sweet, these will be okay. I know, I picked them. Yeah. So are you using the whole thing? Yeah, I'm gonna use them all. Oops, except for that one. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> they say it's supposed to. No, it, it coats it a little bit. 
so they don't all go to the bottom. Yeah. Oven's ready. You put the blueberries in. So that you don't squish them, just fold them in. Fold it in. I find too, like when I do them, the frozen blueberries, I put them in frozen. For some reason, they seem to be better too. You don't squish them more. Well, yeah, because they're frozen and then they they might For burst some reason, more, right? They taste good too. I don't know why, but they're just, they're just easy to mix too. You just spray this. I'm excited. And these are extra large muffin tins. Yeah, these are the big, the big muffins. How many little muffins do it you makes, think? It makes six big ones. big muffin tray you're looking depending on the oven you're looking at about almost 40 minutes 40 minutes yeah and I usually cook them to 200 degrees temperature in the muffin oh. just scoop away how much do you fill the tin I just use them all I use the whole recipe I'll go through it first and then go back over for a second time with what I have and all that's gonna fit in this, just the six? Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but it does. <laughs> How's it taste? And then, if you want, I was gonna ask if you were gonna do this. Gina likes it. A little bit of sugar on top. Makes it crunchy. And then they go in the oven, 400 degrees. Are you excited? I'm excited. What do they have to be? 200. They done? Yeah. How long was that? I'll show you. Oh, I don't know. I, didn't, I was going to time it, but I forgot. Dad. Like I said, it all depends. But take a picture of that there because that's what you wanted at. Now you're just lifting them a little bit? Huh? Can you take them right out of the pan or should you wait for them to cool? You can do what you want. I usually try to eat them right off because I like them hot. Yeah, they're good with butter. Just slathered all over them. Mm -hmm. I cool them down quicker, just take them and tilt them. Ooh. What? Oh. What are you doing? Ooh. Look at it. See, they still go to the bottom. Yeah, but they're still up here. All the way done. They're bouncy. I told you, 200 degrees. Same thing when you cook bread. If you ever cook bread, mm. 200 degrees. It's done. These are so good. These taste nothing like mine taste. These taste so good. Fair. What do you think? Mm. It's so good. Everyone needs to make these. It's like everything else. I tell people how to make stuff and they say, well, it doesn't come out the same. It doesn't. Mmm. I made the yummy bacon. Oh. Mom made bacon. And those are the blueberry muffins. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time I make them at home. If they mess up, then I know it's me. <laughs> I have no excuse now. <laughs>